morning. Beautiful day. Hey, it's about almost eight o'clock and we are not in a hurry to go. Almost time for us to get going to the next shelter. Yep. Okay, goodbye, Trey Mountain Shelter. Now that's mosey on, huh? <laughs> so yesterday is actually our first official week away from home doing the AT. Yeah, he switched to Crocs. The Ultras are not really working. The Zero Drop Shoes is not working for him. Really good. We'll see. <laughs> We're starting off the day downhill. Sun is up, smiling at us. Temperature wise, it's cool, not cold, clear, beautiful day, not windy. It's just, it's just a perfect day. Okay, so now we are officially done with Trey Mountain. We just came down from there. Now there's this uh, mountain in front of us. Yeah, that's the next one. Okay, so we are tackling that mountain right in front of us earlier after Trey Mountain. And uh, we came across a, a climb there. The trail is just going up, up, up. The, there's no switchbacks. So to, to tell you the truth, I'd rather have switchbacks. Switchback is like this, okay? When you go up the mountain, it goes like this. This one is going like this. It's sort of steep and it, it, it actually discourages you in some ways. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I can't do it. <laughs> Yeah, something along those lines. Yeah, we're doing it. Legs are feeling it. The Crocs is actually working for Bill right now. It's uh, it's helping his feet. Ugh, the sun is beating on us now. It's getting really hot. Wow, but the mountains look so amazing. Yeah, still a blessed day. Yeah, I'll take it, of course. I told you. What? We'll get up here and we'll see what we're actually gonna climb. Wow. <laughs> this is what Bill was talking about. Here's the next mountain. It's not a super tall one. That was called a saw, but let's put it that way. That's true. At least we're starting off flat. Yeah, it's like a little better time here. Yeah. Right. Oh, beautiful. It's just gorgeous. God has been good so far. I mean, look at what we've accomplished, right? 
We've gone through probably two, three mountains a day, something along those lines, and a few ridges and and stuff like that in one day. And our knees are holding up. We have aches and pains, and but man, they've already reached about over 50 miles, you know. And yeah, we're very grateful for that. <laughs> the wind feels so good. The sun is beautiful. It's a nice day. It's a beautiful day. So the Crocs is still working. You, you couldn't you couldn't time this any better because um, Bill's feet are hurting so badly. It started like a few days ago. He's just getting worse and worse. And he's getting a little bit more discouraged and stuff every every day. We're planning on going to Dick's Creek Gap and go to a hostel or something along those lines just to uh, give him two, a couple of days to uh, to recover. But we still need to go there, you know, and we're not sure when we were at the shelter how difficult or rough the trail would be. So we were like, oh man, it might flare up even more, get worse, or tear whatever it is that's hurting on his foot his Achilles tendon and stuff like that. We were worried, but of course you gotta do it. You know, you can't stay up here. <laughs> it's gonna rain on Friday. It's gonna start raining tonight. Today's Thursday, so. So we're trying to reach towns or the shelter so we don't have to set up our tent in the rain. Bill decided to use his Crocs at the beginning of the day. And lo and behold, the trail wasn't as rough. This part of the trail, and he's doing fine on his crocs. There's aches and pains and we still stop to do some stretches, but it's not as rough as the past few days. The trail was just ridiculous. The climb up the mountains are really hard. God timed this really, really well that all these aches and pains are starting to, to come out around this time where the trail is not as rough and Bill is able to to walk and he's ahead of me which is a really good thing because before like you saw some of the videos that he's letting me lead he's letting me lead quite a lot and I'm slow so he'd rather have my pace a slow pace he's doing fine using crocs and we're able to have him walking more miles I find that as a blessing from God really we really don't want to get off the trail but if it's really necessary we will we will do a few days off if that's what it takes if that's what God wants so far for sure God wants us to get off this part of the trail he's giving Bill strength he's moving he's moving it's a good thing
Oh, Swag of the Blue Ridge. It's a new sign. And Bill says the other one got stolen. That's why we got this. We were just there. Now we're moving north. That way. Yeah, I'll go hydrate. And then where we are, off. Yes. We're doing good. Bill's feet. He said if we stays this way, we will just take one zero day. That's that's good. I'm not hopeful to stay this way though. I've, I've got some stuff going on there that <laughs> they, he makes in a little while it's going to start getting aching again. Oh. <laughs> Seven point five miles to the hostel. Yeah, yeah I figured six hours. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's do it. Here's another one, just going up and up and up, and no switchbacks. Yeah, that's uh, a little intimidating. We're gonna do it. It's resting here. <laughs> it's still, it's beautiful out here. Wow. I gotta say, the more we climb up this mountain, the prettier the view. This is rough, but we're doing it more physically for us. Mentally, we're like, we're enjoying this. We really are. It's just that the body can't keep up. Not just yet. So we got to watch it, listen to our body, and not push it. Wow. Still going out. Yeah. Okay, there's a small water source here. Okay. But it's close to the trail. The for sure one is way off the trail. Okay. 0.4 mile side trail. <laughs> yeah, we we'd have to be totally out. I got a lot. You remember I told I got a lot. Uh, if we just go to the shelter, there's it's you know what I'm saying, there's a guaranteed water source there too. There's the mountain we're going to be climbing. What's the name of that mountain? I have no idea. From here, I'm just gonna keep doing this. From here to the hostel, 6.8 miles, 1,736 feet. We knocked out like 300 of the climb. Yay! There's more climb. <laughs> 1,700 more feet of elevation to go. And it's just, I think around noon. I think we can do it. So we got a few more miles to go to the hostel and I think less than three miles to go <laughs> to the shelter so we're gonna push it a little bit further because it's still a little too early and he's he's doing pretty good so we're moving we're moving <laughs> at this time we are three miles away from the next shelter and six miles away from hostel around the bend we'll at least go to the water source close to the shelter and we'll go from there if we're gonna stay at the shelter or straight to the hostel so we'll figure it out once we reach the water source so far bill is doing good hiking with his crocs on so we're going up kelly knob there's no switchbacks but it's not as it's not as tall i don't think this entire day we ever had and he switched back going up. We're looking at this and we're like, wow. 
<laughs> so we're just chilling here by the log stretching. Yeah, you gotta you gotta do a lot of stretches here. Bill is getting onto me on it. Because I'm not doing enough stretches. So make sure you do enough stretches. So another hiker just passed us. Like these younger hikers, man. They just Bill calls it lollygagging. They're just walking like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, I get it. They're younger. They're stronger, faster. I mean, you can lollygag now and pick up the pace later. That's the point. Yep. Well, we're taking it easy. Okay, I'm guessing it's that mountain right there. I go. <laughs> really, really nice out right now. Two miles to the shelter. Two miles? Okay. 830 feet up, 650 feet down. Cool. 5.7 miles to the hot one. 1578 feet up, 2426 feet down. There you have it, guys. Alright, trail goes that way, going up. And yay! We finished Trey. Mountain wilderness. That's an accomplishment. All right, still moving north here. <laughs> you gotta see this. All right, so yeah, I'm still uh, on the incline. Like I'm still going downhill. I'm having a break here. Bill is starting it now. Once we reach there, she's gonna climb up right here. We don't. I I don't see a switchback, but I hopefully there's one, and it's not just going up like that. But you can see. We're going up that mountain right there. Now I go get stuff in Bill's <laughs> ahead. I'm gonna stop now. Okay, so this is not a switchback. We're actually going around that mountain. <laughs> There's the blaze right there. And Bill's taking a break as well. Alright. There we go. Uh, it's sitting here on a log. And, whew, that was really something. Still keeps going up. That's what it looks like. Yeah, you can't really tell, but it's gradually going up. So Bill, Bill and I were talking while well, we're we're climbing out of this mountain in misery. He's like, I understand why people cry at Katahdin once they reach Katahdin. Will <laughs> said he's already ready to cry. <laughs> Finishing Georgia. <laughs> wow. And you got 13 more states. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get this done. Okay. This is not easy, but the people that passes by us, they make them look so easy. It gets a little overwhelming because it makes us feel weak. <laughs> no. The mountain makes us feel weak. <laughs> like, make you doubt and discouraged. Will you be able to really make it? I just keep telling myself, well, you don't have trail legs yet, and it takes about like a week or two to get them. So, oh no. Well, we've been through a week, probably two weeks to get them. And then we're having these problems. I'm gonna try and take care of them and, and go from there. Wow. We're not even at the top, but the view looks amazing. Oh my goodness, we made it at the top! Wow! Oh, we now have just 13.4 miles till we get out of Georgia and hello North Carolina! The sun is still up and we're doing pretty good. Aches and pains, but uh, now we're going downhill. Okay, so we made it here. Deep gap shelter and water. We'll figure 
we'll figure out our next move from here. So most of that's downhill. There's an ascent, 676 feet, probably up that. After mm -hmm. that, it's probably almost all downhill. Okay. There are actually two more water sources between here and there, at least. Because oh, you got that one liter is still full? Yeah. Okay. So we could be good on water and like stop here in another two and a half miles and get water. And that's most of the ascent and descent out of the way. And then that, there's another water source, 3.2. Want to try for it? Let's go. Okay, so this is how awesome the hiking community is. So Bill, you know, Bill is having some aches and pains on his feet and he's thinking of getting some shoes. Hi, Awasi. And we plan on staying at the hostel around the bend. The owner of that hostel actually straight up contacted Bill because he's actually part of that Facebook Appalachian Trail 2021 group. He saw Bill's post about his problem with his feet and the shoe thing. They have a shuttle to take us to the store, Outdoor 76, from the hostel. We consider that as a huge blessing. Gordon, thank you. You just made Bill's day and mine. All right, so we have three and a half miles. We'll get there in three hours. Let's go meet Gordon. The view is still amazing. I do believe this is all God's doing. Setting it up like this so that Mr. Gordon will be able to help us out. So far, this experience has been very humbling. We thought Georgia we uh, underestimated Georgia. Definitely exceeded our expectations of the trail. The mountains, wow, we are not prepared for this. But God has been helping us through this. Again, he gets the increase. I gotta admit, man, this part of Georgia, this part of the AT, they don't, they don't like switchbacks. <laughs> yeah, it's not that steep. It's just when you look at it, it's like, whoa, it's a little overwhelming. The mountains, the mountains. <sighs> A lot of people might not believe what I say about God and his plan. Coincidence? I don't think so. Ooh, a vista. What does that mean? It's a vista. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just uh I'll just watch a YouTube channel what the vista looked like. 249 feet up, 1,352 feet down. 2.4 miles, guys. Plus what he says. Okay, we can do this. this this is like a legitimate landslide wow 
right here. It's crazy, babe. Yep. Well, all right, we're going. Hey! I'm leading. Notice it even shattered that one rock back there. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah, there was like a rock about that big. Fresh. Oh, so we're less than a mile away, but look at this rhododendron tunnel. It's pretty neat. And Bill pointed out there's a stream that follows this rhododendron tunnel. It's down there. This is so cool. Okay, so we're less than a mile away, like I said, and it's mostly downhill now. Oh. Oh look, there's a seat there. Oh, that is so neat. Oh, it's looking great. We made it! Yep, I see There's the, the road. Cool. Alright, just gonna go across the road, I guess. I don't know, we're gonna get over here to wherever there's a parking area. All right. And wait for the shuttle, which should be here shortly, actually, now. All right, cool. 18 minutes. Okay, so, wow, we made it here. There's the blaze. It was look for the hill, that's where you gonna go. <laughs> Uphill, from there. So we're taking two zeros to recuperate. So we actually ascended 2687 and descended 4127. Okay. Yeah, too much for taking it easy. Yeah, but double digit day. <laughs> I know, it's just well I'm still calling this God opening up an opportunity. Tomorrow it will be raining. Tonight so Oh, tonight it will be raining. Bill is on Crocs. He can't walk with those ultras up and down mountains. We're taking zeros. He'll be able to get shoes from an outfitter. We'll take care of Bill's feet. If we stayed at that shelter, that's gonna get delayed one day and we'll catch the rain. Okay, so we ended up at Zaxby's. We grabbed some chicken sandwiches. We got dropped off here by the shuttle and he will pick us up in a few days. Okay, so we are at Hostel Around the Bend. This place is nice. The place is just really cool. This is our first hostel experience and we are blown away. The person that picked us up his name is bear and he's so nice you know, he threw like the appalachian trail last year mr gordon the one who talked to bill thank you so much thank you for the shuttle service that will take us to outdoor 76 everything goes well and we reach katahdin hustle around a bend your help has a huge part on our success Hi, I'm Grace. I'm Filipino, and my husband Bill 
is an American veteran. We would like to share our experiences with you and hope we can be a blessing to you. When you see us in the outdoors, say hi and don't be camera shy. This is the Coffee and Ready channel.